Hello, hello, hello. It's Kieran of Killer HD here, and welcome back to Killer Kids Stadio today. It is 5th place Mansfield Town, yes, 5th place Mansfield Town, versus 13th place Morecambe in the Skybet League team. We face off against former Mansfield Town manager Paul Cox in the league. Let's get right into this. Yes, as you heard, 5th in the league. We are out of the automatic promotion places at the moment. But to be honest with you, we're only a point off top. That's how close it is. Here's a little table for you before we look at the fixtures. Look at them. They're in Orient. They're only up there in goal difference. And look, they're tied with South End. That's unbelievable. UNBELIEVABLE, Jeff! Then you've got Bury, Notts County and Mansfield Town just behind them. And you've also got Shrewsbury in behind as well. It's such a close, like, battle at the moment. 18 games in, it's so close. So after the last episode where we faced SV United, we've had a lot of fixtures played. It includes a trip away to Oxford United in League One, which we won in the FA Cup. We actually start off, start off though with a 3-2 win at home against Fleetwood Town. This was a very fun game. A lot of goals in the first half. Terrell Thomas and Jack Thomas of our goals in the first half for Conor McLaughlin and Lewis or Walters for the girls Fleetwood Town. 57th minute goal from West Burns though, sealed the deal for us. Massive win for us against Fleetwood Town. Then we went and actually lost 2-0 away at Leighton Orient, one of the best teams in the league. Honestly, that's Jay Simpson and Jake Cassidy with the goals here. Although we had possession and um, a lot more shots than them, we just very we weren't very clinical, which is a shame. But you know that happens eventually in games. So we did lose this game, which was a shame. We actually um, drew one with South End in the next game. Billy Waters of Argo, Adam El Abid with the goal for South End United. We won 2-1 away from home against Port Vale. A brace from Thierry Ambrose, one from the spot as well, and Mark Cullen with the golf port there. We won 1-0 at home against Accrington and Stanley. This is a fun game to record because not many highlights, but when the highlights really come, the very intense game to play. Ryan Bird with the only goal of the game as he come on at the 55th minute to get his goal. He actually wants to leave the club. His word is he's not getting enough game time, so he wants to leave, and I can't blame him. He's 30 years old, he's not getting enough game time. He needs it, and Thierry Ambrose has now taken his place, even though he's only on loan. The next game, we drew 1-1 away from home against Carlisle. Our goal was from Adam Jackson, and their goal from Alex Smith. We drew 0-0 at home in the FA Cup first round against uh, League One opposition, Oxford United. Very, very difficult game, because although... You know, we had more shots and more target and more possession. They really did come out the gates and they had a lot of yellow cards. They were very, very, very aggressive. 17,000 a day for four yellow cards. Playing the match for them was Karl McFadden, though. He's not related to Callum McFadden. If he is, I would know about He's not. I, he could be. I don't know. The game might not say it. They had, obviously, they got great players. Kmar Roof is one of them. Danny Guthrie, pretty similar. So Cameron Gale, I recognise as well. Dean Moxie. And they're a tough opposition, so we went away to them in the FA Cup uh, first round replay, which we won 3 2 after extra time in an absolute blinder of a football match. Do you understand? Yeah, Callum Adalda with the goal in the 80th minute to give them the lead. And then Brian Bird in the eight, in the 65th minute, sorry, giving us an equaliser. Into the highlight though, Danny Hilton scored in the 65th minute to make it 2 1 to Oxford United at the Kassam Stadium. Two minutes later though, Billy Waters, 2 2. Unbelievable game. In the 97th minute, he rarely scores, but when he does, he seems to score in very important matches. Matthew Bullock scoring a winner to send us into the second round of the FA Cup. We're facing off against Scunthorpe United away from home. Now, we have two more league games to speak about. We won 1 0 at home against Newport County. Terry Abrams is the goal here, but here is the game I really want to speak about. So, uh, we lost 2 1 away from home against Bury. They are third, and we were second when this game was played. And let me tell you about this game. Fifth minute goal for Mark Anderson, you know, normal goal. Now, here's a video of Terrell Thomas' own goal. I posted it on Twitter, I posted it on Tifo, I posted it on Facebook. I could not bloody believe it. And then, here is the Marzi Pan goal. Unbelievable. An own goal like that, and a cross goal like that. This game was mental, and I'm really disappointed to lose this game, actually, because I thought we played quite well. But it just happens to be honest with you. So we did lose that game, and I've showed you the league table. So if you want to look at the competition page quickly, here it is. And here is the uh, stats for you. Thierry Ambrose of 8 goals, highest average rating, Kyle Dempsey on loan. Jack Thomas has been dethroned. Most assists, Mal Benning with 4. Plus pass completion is Luke Maxwell. Most player of the match awards is um, Kyle Dempsey and Jack Thomas uh, tied. Most of the cards, Matthew Work, but that's kind of his job. He's a ball in midfielder. And Adam Jackson for only one red card. So enough delaying. Let's get into this game against Morecambe. It's 5th place Mansfield versus 13th place Morecambe. Here on the sides. <laughs> Look at that for a team talk. 
let's get into this game. It's going to be a very tough game against a good Morecambe side currently in 13th place. And if we win today, we could end up at first at the table if things go our way. This is going to be a very interesting game. Let's get into it. Jackson Dever free kick whips it in. Jackson's going to clear it. He doesn't clear it. And Morecambe have taken an early lead here. Six, seven minutes in. Niall Canavan with the goal after a poor defensive mistake there. I would love to know who did that because I'm probably going to sub him off at half time. Um, let's have a look at this in 3D. I want to know who that was. So, Baxton there whips in this free kick here. Fair play, big free kick. Jackson into... Hey, Jackson! It's Jackson! And then, who's that there? Chapman doesn't do very well either. It's 1-0. We're going to go ahead straight away and can, um, in the uh, team talk area. We're going to encourage them to get on with this game. We've got three shots, zero on target, but Morecambe have the lead, and that's not what we need after uh, a recent loss to Bury as well. Zabret has a goal kick here. If you look at possession stats, we are smacking them, says the defence. We've had not a single shot on target, though, which is not good enough, and I bet they're going to score here as Cardwell tries to get a pass through. Gets it to Barkhusen, finally, after a bit of defensive uh, piss-poor work again. Wilding on a yellow card here. Gets it on the right-hand side to Bailey. They're going to score. They're going to score. Barkhusen, flipping hell. We've not had a shot on target. We've gone attacking. This is not good enough. Half time, nil one to Morecambe. I'm making some changes. I'm actually going to bring on a new striker. Going to go for a, a four, uh, four three one two. Don't usually go for this formation, but I'm excited to see how it does. We're going to take off um, Adam Chapman, who's one of the main people who uh, fucked up that game, that goal. We're going to bring on a target man on support. We're going to go for a formation we don't usually play. We've never really played this formation before, so I'm intrigued to see how it will do. We're also going to go aggressive and say, where the hell is your passion? Do you want to win this game at all? And that has gone down fantastically. The second half is underway. Can we win this game? 67th minute, and I'm making my second change of the game. Going to take off Mal Benning and bring on Reggie Lamb Shops. For some reason, nothing's working. Nothing is working. I don't know what it is. We're going to go... We're on attacking. We're going to stay attacking. We've gone more direct. We're going to go uh, push higher up. We're also going to go higher tempo. We need to go for this game, and I don't understand why we're not winning this game, because I thought we were, you know, we're on form. Apart from losing that Bury game, we're on form. We've only had one shot on target. One shot on target. That is disgraceful. Zabret with a goal kick here. Gets it as far as Bark Hughes and heads it down to Bealey. Morecambe are going to get a second one. I can't believe this. We are not. What the hell is wrong with us today? Cardwell on the ball. Willock intercepts. Thanks to you very much. Ryan Bird now on the ball. Is the new formation going to work? Ryan Bird puts the ball to bloody Kyle Dempsey here. What's <laughs> Tiari Ambrose turns up once again as our second shot on target. That is not good enough, but it's an equaliser, and it's a very, very healthy point. Because and considering that was a fantastic ball, Ryan Bird, by the way, and then Dempsey puts the ball in the middle. Mr. Ambrose ends it in. Lovely old job. It is 1-1. One, one. We're also going to make our final change of the game before we kick on once more. We're having look at these all these players having great games, and then you have got this Tom Naylor guy. Look at him, Tafazoli, get on. This is your chance, by the way, Tafazoli, because you've kind of been dropped out of the circuit. So, I have faith in you. Go out there and make a difference. Get in, my son. Go on, I'm motivated you, and you're motivating me. Get out there and do your job. They have a corner in the dying embers of this game. If they score, it's all over. If they don't, please don't let them score. This is not a 95 minute ref. Just blow the whistle. Thank you very much. It is 1 1. We weren't good enough on the day. We had two shots on target. I'm going to go aggressive and say, that wasn't good enough, I'm afraid. Get, what happened? What happened? Two shots on target. They had five shots in the game and had more than us. That is dis that's disgusting, really. I'm really not happy with that, but we are still in fifth, though. We're only three points behind South Engine United. have now took it a lead in the top of the table. But I feel like we should have won that game. I'm not, I'm not happy at all. So, to be honest, after our shots on target, we do actually rescue a late draw, but Matthew Willett played quite well. Tierra Ambrose getting his ninth goal of the season. Our assistant manager, our coach, is now... Quite happy with in match preparation. I think I'm have to change tactic. We're not getting enough shots on target. Matthew Ma Willock with an 8.1. Skybet Lee to round up. Here is the league table then. We are still in fifth with 34 points and we are one point uh, above Shrewsbury, but we're also three points um, behind South End. So it's all still to play for and it's very tough in this league and hopefully we can just push on now. And really, really go for this. It's the 25th of November. It's 8 night in games played already. We've got such a long time to go. So my next game is going to be the away game against Barnet. It's the first of the month. So why not start a new year with a game against bottom of the league Barnet? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode. Or oh, Killick and Stead do. If you did, leave a like. And if you did not, tell me why in the comments down below. And I will see you all very soon for another episode of Killick and Stead do.